VH1 Comedy Spotlight. You've seen him on MTV three times. You've seen him on the Rick D's uh, Into the Night Show. Let me bring this stage to very funny Mr. Rushan McDonald. That's <laughs> great, you know. I do a lot of TV. I watch a lot of TV. Did you see the episode on 2020 where they show the girl possessed by the devil? Yeah. She weighed over 400 pounds. Obviously, the devil couldn't stop her from eating. <laughs> when did she show possession? When they try to take food away from her? Ah! My little sis, ah! Give her the chicken so she can shut up. She's starting to spin her head, ah! Give her some Kool-Aid. A lot of couples, and I always say, I love seeing couples, you know, because you know, you're in love, you show these little touchy-feely type situations. I would tell people you're in love, test your relationship, see how strong it is. Quit your job. <laughs> I like what women laugh at that. Because, <laughs> guys, you find out valuable your job builds to your relationship. Honey, guess what? What? I quit my job. <laughs> then she put out that angry woman walk. <laughs> Child, that's some bitch. Quit his job. You damn right I'm going to leave him. Mm -hmm. You heard me? I'm going to leave him right now. I can be broke by myself. That was a cordless phone, by the way. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have tripped over the cord. Right? <laughs> you know, this sounds really funny. It's not really funny, but it's a fact. You know, men are, women are starting to beat up men a lot now. <laughs> See, I'm just stating facts, folks. I read the newspaper, you know. And men are reporting it. So you have to realize, you know how macho we are, guy. That man must be really getting his ass kicked to report. <laughs> you know what I mean, man? He on the phone, sneaking in the kitchen. 911. I can't talk long, Holmes. That's right, brother. She's taking a break on kicking my ass. Dude. Little old bitty bitch, too, man. Yeah, man, can you send the police over in a hurry? They down there laughing at me. <laughs> How big are you? Six nine? Hey man, I'm putting on a speakerphone. <laughs> That's right, buddy. You better send the regular police to get me off his ass. <laughs> Don't be sending no security down here. I'm gonna kick some ass. <laughs> Little bitty midget hoe be coming out of this. Crack myself up. <laughs> Tell me this. How's that people who snore manage to fall asleep first? <laughs> you in your bedroom trying to go to sleep? <laughs> These people probably, oh, I'm not that sleepy, dear. <laughs> Sucking all the air out of the house. You know, when you hear this note, <laughs> you're in for a long night. <laughs> Any people always wake up the next day complain about how bad they slept? <laughs> I'm staggering out of bed. <laughs> Honey, I ain't sleep too good last night. <laughs> but how the hell? <laughs> Girl, I sleep too good either. There's that loud ass fog on that bed, man. I got some people that snore and talk to sleep at the same time. What a scary combination. Because not only have to deal with that snoring, but incoherent babbling. It's like, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Nasty dog. <laughs> you sure you haven't seen me on TV? Having your ass off out there, huh? Ain't that funny, am I? Thank you, am I? You ever hear your father snore? This man been snoring for decades. He sounds like a lawnmower. <laughs> the 
right if it's snowing, he'll stop breathing on you. <laughs> you don't know what to do. Do you need help? Wake up, old man. Do you need help? I am nine years old with bags under my eyes. Do you need help? Don't worry, he won't wake up. Drop a bomb in the house, that man won't wake up. But don't let him fall asleep from that television set and turn that off. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I was watching that! I love it when women start pouring that dick, man. Right there! Can you get a witness? Can you get a witness? Yeah. I don't know.